So now we'll look at the addition of secondary means, and instead of getting an imine like we did with primary means, we're going to get what's called an enamine. And the reason it's called an enamine is that you have both an alkene and an amine on the same molecule at the same position. Uh, so hence the name enamine, alkene amine. Uh, in this case, uh, we get that with starting with, again, a secondary amine instead of a primary amine. And the big difference here is that when we go to form water in the final product here, so I know where the oxygen comes from, and that comes from the ketone. So the question is, where do the two hydrogens come from? Well, one of them comes right here, but the nitrogen doesn't have another hydrogen, so the other one's going to come from an alpha carbon, which is why we get the double bond in this location, as we'll see when we go through the mechanism here. So, uh, But it's also a six-step mechanism, really, really similar to what we saw with primary means with one key difference at the end, again, where we get that hydrogen. So let's take a look at this mechanism. So first step, again, amines are decent nucleophiles. And so the first step is going to involve the nucleophilic attack. So we'll come and attack our ketone, kick the pi electrons up to the oxygen. Form an alkoxide here, so but also have a quaternary ammonium ion here. These two R groups on the amine definitely don't have to be identical by any stretch either, FYI. Uh, from here, then it's time we've done our nucleophilic attack with a decent nucleophile, it's time to protonate. So, and in this case, we'll protonate our oxygen, the most reactive part of our molecule. And that leaves the most reactive part of this molecule being this quaternary ammonium, which is a weak acid. So we'll deprotonate, and then protonating over here, we also created our conjugate base, A minus, which is what's gonna act as the base here to deprotonate. And again, every step in this mechanism reversible just like it was with primary means and imine formation. Uh, in this case then, still got our alcohol right here, and now our amine right here with only two R groups, doesn't have any hydrogens left. So in this case, there's nothing particularly reactive. So in this case, we're just gonna keep in mind where we're headed and Ultimately, we don't want this oxygen to be in the product at all, it's just the nitrogen, so we need to turn this OH into a good leaving group, as it's not right now. And make it a good leaving group, we'll definitely protonate it here to make it water, which is definitely a good leaving group. So in this case, once we've got a good leaving group, let's definitely have it leave. So we'll have him leave there, and we'll just show the major resonance contributor here, just like in the last one. Cool, we also formed a water molecule here. So, and we also formed an A minus back here. All right, let's just do some bookkeeping. Uh, from here, the question is what happens next and how do we get to our final product? So in this case, at, the, at this stage of the mechanism with imines, we went and deprotonated the nitrogen again. Well, the nitrogen's like, I don't have a hydrogen to deprotonate. So in this case, we're gonna uh, deprotonate one of the adjacent carbons instead. Nitrogen would have been first choice. Nitrogens are more acidic than carbons, but since he's out of hydrogens, it's gotta be one of the adjacent carbons and their equivalent in this case, so we'll just pick one. And I'll draw one of those hydrogens in. And so our conjugate base back here is gonna come and deprotonate, form the alkene, and give nitrogen his electrons back. So that's where the alkene part comes from, and we have our ene amine. Cool, there's your mechanism for enamine formation. And again, once again, just like with imine formation, you're forming water over here, and the reaction's completely reversible at every step. So if you add a bunch of acid with water, it's acid catalyzed in the reverse as well, i.e. H3O+, you reverse it right back, and your enamine goes back into being a ketone.